Welcome to Endeavour Shorts. I'm Don Campbell. I'm the Head of Alliance and Partner Marketing at Endeavour, and I'm joined by my colleague Lewis Brown, who's the Global Head of Alliance at Endeavour. Today we're going to talk about partnerships, we're going to talk about the nature of partnerships, we're going to talk about innovation, we're going to talk about how they drive client success for us. So with that, Lewis, can you tell me what you think makes a successful partnership? Sure, thanks, Don. Um, Partnerships are fundamental for Endeavour to, to fuel innovation and to embrace new technologies. Um, by working with different partners in our ecosystem, we're all going to bring our different perspectives to how we should collaborate. But ultimately, it's going to lead to uh, working on new ideas and working on new initiatives, all to the benefit of our clients. So, with that, what would you say uh, are the building blocks for a successful partnership then? It's a good, good question, Don, um, and I like your analogy, I tend to use something different as well um, when I'm talking about the core components of a successful partnership, and that's, let's think about it as building a wall. The first layer of that is the foundation, and it's having those industry experts and who bring that industry knowledge and subject matter expertise to our clients in, in partnership, of course, with, with, with our alliances. Um, so the second to that, uh, equally as important, is having a strong, or at least a developing Ability. Um, I like to consider the bricks on top of the foundation um, and they go hand in hand with our industry experts uh, working in harmony and in my opinion you can't really have one without the other to, to have a successful work partnership. Uh, but last but by no means least and but to me the most important is, is having those shared aligned values. Um, this is like the board that keeps everything together, keeps that wall standing. Um, you won't have a successful partnership if your own values aren't aligned with whichever partner you choose to work with. Um, and I believe you shouldn't be deviating from those, no matter what the potential reward can be at the end. And, and I'm passionate about that. I like that. I really like the idea of shared values. I and mean, it's really important, especially when you are working towards a common goal, having that alignment, having that common goal and the values there is really, really important. That's a good point. Yeah, absolutely. How do you see partnerships helping businesses bolster and foster their innovation? Okay, yeah, I mean, that's, it's, it's a good question, it's a really big question. Um, the way I think about how innovation is born is it, it's through cooperation. I, I liken it to a program, a complex project that's being delivered. So thinking about the key elements which are going to drive success. We have people, process and technology. Uh, each one of those needs to be in the right place. You need the right people, the right process, the right technology, of course. I'd add a fourth into that, which would be partnerships. And when you have those things melding together, and you're on the right pathway towards success for that, you are sharing that common ground, the common goals and the shared values, but you're creating a space where innovation comes out. So you have that, that co-innovate mindset, that almost like a one team uh, opinion and way forward. And that really does drive innovation. It drives better ideas, different ideas. And ultimately that's for the client's benefit, and everyone's benefit, but it really, it really is coming to the fore there. Yeah, I agree with everything you're saying there, and it's hard for me to point to one real example of kind of how we do it with one of our partners, but I guess the best way for me to summarise it is when Endava work with uh, one of our partners, we, we encourage a collaborative environment to work together with him, and that's encouraging whether it be our developers or our SMEs to be, be, be creative with the client, and it's okay to fail. Failing fast is a good thing, because ultimately we're going to learn from that, and the client at the end of the is going to realise better and quicker value. That fail fast idea that really resonates, the idea of venture building. And I think that's that's where you get to what the true nature of a partnership should be, that, that hand in hand, being able to invent, create, having that space uh, to uh, you know create or foster something that is brand new, that is going to work or not work, but failing fast and obviously to succeed quicker as well. That's a really interesting point. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Thank you.